Welcome, my name is Colleen Tauke and I'm the sewing specialist here at Fonz and Porter. In this video, I'm going to show you the pieces and parts for the Pickle Dish template set. You can see it here in front of me, and those are the three acrylic templates that are used for cutting quickly the pieces that go into the Pickle Dish block. You can see how it's used in the quilt behind me, it makes a very dynamic quilt. There are three portions to this um, template set. A is the blade, this shape like this, and those are used for cutting all of the, fan, the small fan shapes you see in the block. Then there's B, and it's shaped kind of like a melon or a football shape, and that is used for cutting the very center of the block. And then we have piece C, which it doesn't look like it fits in there, but it does. I'll show you how it's placed on the fabric in order to cut the pieces that are the background pieces here and on the far side of the block. So let's look at how these pieces are cut from fabrics. Now, you'll want to follow your instructions in your pattern, and the pattern for this is called Folk Dance. So if you'd like to purchase that pattern, you can visit our website for that. First, let's look at the fan blades. They can be cut from strips of fabric. Now, the first time you may cut these, you may just want to cut one layer. Once you get a little more confident in your cutting, you can, you can set layers up and cut down through this. Um, you will see in the quilt, though, there are 11 different or a, a variety of fabrics, I think five or six different ones. So you would follow your instructions for the number from each fabric that you need. But they are simply placed on a strip of fabric. Now, the wide end of the fan is just gently curved, and so is the inside uh, narrower end. So we can't just put it on a strip and be done. What we need to do is actually cut all the way around the template. I'm going to use a rotating mat here to make this a little bit easier. Once they're placed on the fast strip of fabric, and I've got two layers at once here, I can cut two sides safely. Then I can rotate the entire thing. I can come in and cut the last two sides like this and then quickly cut very accurately all of the fan shaped blades that I would need for this quilt. So that's the fan. Next we have that football shape that we had and because this shape is um, cut so that there are going to be bias edges in all directions, we can simply, again, cut them from a strip of fabric. In this quilt, all of the football shapes are all um, the same as the background. It's all white. So we can just lay these. They could be vertical if you, if you want, but they can be tilted just a little bit. Like I said, we're going to have bias edges no matter how we place this. Using a small rotary blade, it helps it align right up to the template, nice and snug. And then we can simply cut. And again, I'm cutting layers so that I can cut more than one at a time. And then you would have those interior football shapes. The last piece we need to cut is that background corner. And you'll see in the instructions that it calls for um, a square of fabric. And usually people go, hmm, a square of fabric. How? How is that going to be um, utilized properly? And this template actually has on this short leg, it has in, in etched on it, it says place on fold. So remember that when it comes to cutting. So what we have you do is take a piece of, a square piece of fabric, fold it diagonally in half, and have you lightly press on that diagonal so that you can properly place your template. The reason why it's designed this way is that this long leg of the template is the outer edge of your block, and we want those to be on the straight of grain. We don't want stretch in that area. So what we do is we're having it placed on the fold and the short leg, line up here, and we're going to be cutting two, one here and a second from this side. So let's go ahead and cut the first one. Going to line that up on the fold. Again, using that smaller rotary blade so that it can come right up against that curve, inside curve of the template. 
is the time when you want to make sure that your rotary blade is fresh and new and really sharp. Because you're going to be cutting these one at a time. Whereas the other pieces, we could cut multiples, but here, one at a time is your best bet. So when we open this up, we have a piece that would fit right here. Then we can place the temp, like I said, flip it over and utilize again, making sure that you have it on the fold, lined up properly. You're not going to have a lot of waste, except for the inside shape there. You're going to have some, but as quilters, we know that there's always going to be a bit of waste when we're cutting our patchwork pieces out. And the center piece is going to be the waste then. So you get two for one when you're cutting these. That is how you utilize the templates for the pickle dish. And then if you'd like to see more about the construction of this block, visit our Sew Easy and I will show you how to step through putting together your arcs, your wedges for the arcs, how to insert that center um, football shape, and how to apply the outer edge. If you'd like to order this pattern or this um, tool, please visit our website. Thanks for joining me.